And what we're going to be pairing is Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty, because a man who never spends time with his family can never be a real man. Today is Wind Down Wednesday. Welcome back, everyone. Um, happy National Moscato Day. Isn't that awesome? Uh, the internet gods have decided that today, of all days, is the day that we celebrate Moscato. And how timely, since on Monday, uh, we talked about Moscato, uh, Moscato de Asti. So you can actually find a link to that up in the upper right corner, uh, depending on how this is framed, and watch some information about Moscato di Asti, and maybe you'll learn something. Uh, but what we're here for today is some pairings. And what we're going to be pairing is, and what we're going to be pairing is B. Schwitty's famous crudite plate. Now we got some yellow peppers, some red bell peppers, some celery, and some carrots. And we will be trying all four of those with Moscato di Asti. Because somewhere in my books it said that this wine goes very well with these types of veggies. Which I thought was interesting because I've not seen too much on veggie wine pairings. But they recommend this. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, and for those of you that don't like me being healthy, wait until the end because there will be a surprise. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start off with some carrots because I like carrots and I have some ranch out I don't know if I'm going to actually use it to pair with the wine. We'll see um, We'll see what I have time for uh, As you may remember proper pairing tasting take a sip of the wine Take a bite of your pairing take another sip of the wine see what happens Let's rock it Nothing transformative so far with that carrot. Um, the carrot plays well. It doesn't have any sour taste. It doesn't change the wine in any negative way. Uh, also, the kind of refreshingness of a carrot paired with the slightly sweet but still refreshing frizzante notes of the Moscato di Asti um, kind of livens it up a bit. Um, I mean, it's not... It's not anything super transformative, but it is still, it's not bad, it's a pass. Next up, we'll do some celery. All right, so the celery, I don't think pairs as well as the carrot. Um, you know, there's kind of that green note to the celery. Um, that uh, detracts a little bit um, from wine in general, just because any any real green wine, you kind of you kind of find that to be a flaw usually. Um, it's not my not my favorite pairing. Um, maybe we'll circle back to it. Who knows? Oh, so that gets a so that does not pass. Next up, we'll do some red bell pepper. So that does better. Um, since there's a little sweetness in that bell pepper, um, it's a, it plays off the sweetness in the wine. Although uh, the pepper that I have is a little underripe, so you get that pepper greenness quality to it. Um, but in general, I think if the pepper was a little bit more matured, uh, it would have done. It would have been a great pairing with it. Uh, it's an okay pairing at this point. I will give that a pass as well. Um, and then finally, we'll follow up with uh, some yellow bell pepper. Okay, yeah, that that'll do. Um, like I said, that sweetness plays off of the uh, the pepper. And um, it just kind of makes for a better better pairing. This since this one's a little bit 
milder being a yellow versus a red. Um, it, and I think this pepper was a little bit more uh, mature than its red counterpart that I had sliced up. Um, it does a good, decent pairing. And um, yeah, that also gets a pass. So the only thing we didn't, we tossed out is the celery. And just for S's and G's, I'm going to quickly try a pairing of all the crudite dipped in ranch and see how that goes. So much for eating healthy, right? <laughs> you sit through all four of those individually um it actually the ranch redeems the celery so the carrots and the celery do well with the ranch it kind of brings a little bit of lactic um acid flavor to the to kind of a semi-sweet wine already uh which gives it a rounder mouth feel and it's actually really cool to have that little bit of interaction play off the sugar and the frizziness and um just about everything about it and finally, following that, um, surprisingly, it does not work for the bell peppers. Uh, the bell pepper is kind of that little green note on the on the, the pepperiness of the peppers. Um, don't play well with that fatter, fuller mouthfeel for this kind of um, citrus. Um, citrus fruit, uh, fr frizzy, um, pear type, lighter, lighter fruit flavors in the wine. Uh, strange. Uh, so yeah, the, I don't know how I'm going to score this half, half fail, half pass. Finally, for those of you that waited for me to do something a little bit more, well, my speed, not healthy. Uh, I saw that Starburst is the perfect pairing according to Cosmopolitan Magazine. Uh, who doesn't read Cosmo? And uh, is the perfect pairing for Moscato de Asti. So I bought a pack of Starburst. I have the five core flavors here. Um, four core flavors here. I'm gonna try one, I'm gonna see how that works. I'm gonna try my favorite, which is the orange. Which is the orange, and see if I should keep going or if I should just do one and be done. So the orange does okay. Uh, it brings out more of those mandarin flavors in the uh, Moscato. And actually, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try uh, cherry, lemon, and strawberry, and I will meet you back with a consensus. I should have stopped um, with the orange. Um, each of these flavors, the strawberry, the cherry, and the lemon, don't mix as well, don't play as well with this particular bottle of Moscato de Asti. Um, the lemon, it might be the closest. <coughs> Excuse me. Lemon might be the closest because there's a little, my lemon is one of the general flavors you'll find in Moscato, um, but it's, a sharper lemon, uh, kind of almost a tartness from the Starburst, 
uh, playing off of more of like a lemon rind uh, that you'd find in here, which really brings up kind of the malic sour side of um, of the Starburst and uh, amplifies it, which not my favorite pairing. Uh, so orange Starburst, the best Starburst. Um, save those, drink it with some, some Moscato de Asti if you don't, um, you know, enjoy some crudite with your Moscato, or do both. Uh, throw the orange Starburst in your next uh, crudite tray. Either way, thank you for watching. My name is B. Schwitty. This has been another Wine Down Wednesday here on Rewind. Um, if you want to check out a list of other pairings that we've done for Wine Down Wednesday, you can check that out at the end of the video on the title card, or maybe, if I remember, I'll put a little um, thingy up in the right-hand corner of this. Uh, either way, thank you for watching. Please let me know, have you tried any pairings with Moscato di Asti? Um, have I been saying Moscato di Asti so much that it's changed from the way that I originally started pronouncing it correctly in the first video? Who knows? Uh, please comment, share, like, subscribe, and you know, uh, follow me on social media, at uh, bschwitty, um, on Instagram and on Twitter, uh, slash bschwitty on Facebook, and I'm somewhere on Reddit, and I'm somewhere on Pinterest. Just look for B. Schwitty. That's, that's me. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty, and I will catch you next time.